Ladies and gentlemen, you are most welcome to Hot Stuff Wednesday. Yeah, I can hear the chair. <laughs> My name is Faithy Maya and I'm super excited to be back on your screens. It's Hot Stuff Wednesday and we will be discussing what makes a relationship ideal. Now, a lot of celebs and people on social media have been dishing out relationship advice from here and there. From marry your friend, to marry your mate, to marry who has money, or build with him or her. I really don't know which advice to take. So I'm joined by my co-host, Favor Obian Loba and Adana Nwana. Stick around after the break. We'll go straight to the details. Welcome back to Hot Stuff Wednesday. My name is Faith Imai. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Favor and Adana. Good morning. Good morning. You are good. Now I'm going to vent a little. You know, every other day people are supposed to have a, a sweet spot and a pet peeve. So my pet peeve for today is Favor and Adana's outfits. They're actually <laughs> dressed in black and Kara skirts and same hair color. Well, I, think, I think we're just tuning in. Hi, Favor. You look Hi, very Adana. good. Favor did this to me. Favor and Uzezi did the same thing to me last week. But I forgive you guys. How are you guys doing? Fine, thank Fine. you. How are you doing? Yeah, good. I like your hair, Sha. Thank, thank you. you. I'm envious. I cannot hide it. <laughs> but anyways, let's talk about what makes a relationship ideal. Now, we've seen a lot of people say, okay, some people would say there are rules. Some people would say there are no rules. Just do you. Now, some people would say, marry someone who is way older now as a woman. Marry a man who is way older. He'll be more mature. Uh, he'll be able to, you know, take your excesses and all of that. If you marry a younger person, he will be too childish. While some other people would say, as a woman, marry a man who is financially stable so that you can have enough money to take care of the kids. There will be trust fund for the kids. While some other people would say, there are no rules. Just follow your heart and follow God. Love is enough and stuff like that. Do you think there are rules for this marriage and relationship thing? Well, speaking honestly, I don't think there are rules, specific rules. What works for you, Faith? can never work for me and works for favor might not work for me now you might be dishing out adv advice to me giving me the rules you used to play out your relationship and mm. it worked perfectly for you mm. i might just implement the same rules and i'll see myself in a dish so i don't <laughs> think there are particular rules that will say oh these are the rules that i'm going to stick by because you're dating a different kind of person i'm dating a different, different kind of person so when we eventually get married i know we're using the same behavior and all those things so there are definitely do you no think rules do you think there are rules favor you are the married one i had to say it i'm sorry no, <laughs> I don't, there, are, there are no rules mm. when it comes to love when it comes to someone you want to build a lifetime with when it comes to your peace mm. when it comes to compatibility i don't think age should be a barrier mm. there should be no rules there should be no set boundaries mm. just go with the flow what you know you can handle okay so what, what do you think about women who marry older men now i'm not saying eight to ten years i'm saying 15 20 25 years older than them what do you think about women like that see anybody anybody go, going into a relationship or into marriage they have their priorities they know what they want mm. and they know the reasons why they went into that relationship or into the marriage so mm. if they feel they, maybe they dated younger people way mm. before you know before and it didn't work out and maybe they had you know this age issue they have to go for older persons um i still don't see like I said, Ella, there's no, no issue with that. No mm. set boundaries. Just because see. the society we live in, the moment they see a young girl with an older man dating or getting married to their like, hey, there's no love. It's all up. She's all about the mula. She's all about the money. And most of these men, almost all the time, are financially stable. They're not just millionaires. They're multi-millionaires or You know, billionaires. they say the, the, the older, the wiser. <laughs> okay, so why is it that these young women don't fall in love with average older men? I think, men in the average class. Yeah, I think it's just about us being stereotypical about it. Mm. If we go back to the 90s, our fathers were almost... You see, like a 50-something-year-old man, after going to war and living out his life and doing everything, he comes mm. back to look for a sweet 16 lady to marry. And the family, they feel honored. Oh, my daughter got, got found a good man for herself, and there's really no issue about it. So I think it's just us being stereotypical. It doesn't always have to be about the money. Some would say, oh, she had daddy issues, so she's mm. trying to find her daddy. Yeah, father figure. A, a, a father figure, sort of. Some people are comfortable with it. I think just be okay with whatever decision anybody chooses to make. Some people will say, like you said, it's about the money. It's not mm. always about that. I think it just, what works for me, like I said, before can my not necessarily work for you i mean i have an issue with you know being with a man way older than me i might have an issue with it it is my decision so i think we should not um be all about 
oh, why should you do this? Because you feel it's wrong in your own um, view. Mm. I feel you should just be supportive and just allow the person. It's obviously the person's relationship, not yours. So. Okay, mm. so let's switch. Let's turn the tables right now. We've also seen older women who want to get married to younger men and they get bashed especially those who bring the, the relationship on social media the, the ones who the older women who are dating younger guys you hear people say stuff like leave him alone he's a child this is child abuse can't you find a man your age and stuff like that so is it the same energy you're keeping for uh, older women who actually go out or marry younger men or you think those women or the men are gigolos and the women are cougars see anywhere you find peace anywhere you find love Take your pillow and relax there, honestly. <laughs> because sometimes we've had some celebrities, you know, that married younger guys and mm. they are working out fine. We have also had, you know, if you turn the tables as well. But I think anywhere you find peace, anywhere you find love, you just try and relax there. Because for women, but for me, my preference, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't like, you know, older women getting married to younger guys now, this because, is the African in her yeah, because <laughs> most times we, we women will start bringing up this age issue when are you, you sure start, are you yeah, sure is, when it comes to respect and maybe when the man wants, are you speaking from your own perspective from my own this is my women view, who are younger this men is bring my up view the age. Okay. because okay. sometimes when the man starts demanding respect you know i'm the head of the house not minding the age i'm the head of the house and he wants you must be submissive the woman in return start telling him oh Talk about respect in this marriage. I should be the one you should respect because I'm older. Mm. So I think in that aspect, age might become an issue. Wow. Yeah. Well, um, honestly speaking, I think age is a matter of the mind. If you don't mind, it really doesn't matter. And yes, some people start bringing up the respect, you know, yeah, aspect of it. You respect me, I'm older than you. But I think there are also people that are very matured about it. It doesn't necessarily have to be about... There are some people that know that the man... Even the Bible says that the man is the head of the family. Mm. There are some women that recognize that oh, I chose to fall in love with someone younger than I am, but he is still the head of the family, regardless. So there are some people that I don't think the respect comes into play. And like you said, in some cases, it does come into play. But whatever works for you, works for you. Age should not really be... I, I don't, I've don't. i never been in that situation of ever dating anyone younger than me, so I don't know how I would personally perceive it. <laughs> I've never been in that situation. I think matter of the hearts, you can never predict See, it. Anna, so it's not I, matter of the okay, so, <laughs> so, You definitely feel that sense of, oh, he's way younger, I, like my younger brother I'm not, or his oh friend. I'm, 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 I'm going to be very honest. If you date someone who's older, yeah. you have that respect because we have that respect naturally. I don't think so, because I've had friends Adana, that... Try it, try it and give no, us... No, you have a I've had close friends of the opposite sex that are way younger than I am, but mm. whenever I need something, maybe advice or mm. whatever, mm. I still feel... You were not romantically involved with these people, so you cannot judge heart, from that my standpoint. My heart, I'm, I'm kind of emotionally connected to them anyway, because they are mm. my close friends, and I've never seen their age as a problem. I'm not saying I will, I don't know what the future holds, but I've never been in that situation. But <laughs> with the way I'm standing, where I'm standing right now, I don't think it's an issue. Anyway, it's an issue for me, trust me, because I'm just two years older than my immediate younger brother and i know how i still treat him so anybody that is my <laughs> younger brother <laughs> anyways that's terrifying for another day you mentioned the man being the head of the home that brings me to the next part of this conversation i've seen a lot of women say they can never settle for a man who is not financially stable when they don't even say financially stable they say a man who is not rich they look they're looking for P a man who is thinking rich a man that has a lot of money that can sponsor trips abroad send their children to school in foreign universities, you know, live in a mansion, drive exotic cars and all stuff like that because they claim that uh, as single women, they've made money for themselves. So they just have to keep up that standard. And we see a lot of women, you know, getting into the wrong relationships to say because they are, their focus is on who is financially stable. Now I'm going to ask, you said a man is the head of the home. In a situation where the man is not financially stable, is he still the head of the home? In a situation where the woman is picking all the bills, taking care of everything at home, and the man is just there as a male figure, is he still the head of the home? Faith, speaking honestly, uh, I think it's really about your mindset. Mm. Do you, funny enough, I know someone, she's like the breadwinner of the family, she handles most of the, but whenever the children need anything, they come to meet her. She knows she's the one bringing out the funds, but she will tell the children, go and ask your father. Mm -hmm. And when she tells them to go and ask their father, she now goes to her husband and says, she will tell her husband, oh, this is what the children want. What do you think? They plan together as a family. And it's working out perfectly for them. Like, they are able to deal with it as a family. It's not an issue. Don't you and think the people... man, the man, it's one of two things. Yeah. The man is either going to get very comfortable in that position yeah. of always, you know, waiting for the wife to come and meet him before mm. she will disburse her own money, yeah. or you don't you think, don't you make don't you think that it makes the man feel less of a man? Because a lot of yeah. people may want to develop 
uh, hate or maybe anger issues as a result of the children yeah. always coming to the mother or coming to yeah. him and he cannot provide, it makes them feel like they're not performing their duties. Well, in this particular fathers. scenario that I was describing, um, I think both of them had a job initially and at the point the man lost his job. Okay. So okay. That, um, they did not start off the relationship with her being the okay. breadwinner. Okay. So, but I think it has to do with respect. This is where respect mm. comes into play. Mm. You can be the breadwinner as a woman and still give your husband respect. I think where the issue comes up is when the man tries to be domineering. When you get your salary, send it to me. I'm mm. going to be, that's where I have an issue. Mm. You cannot tell me how to spend the money I worked hard mm. for. So, but there's something that it works well for. If you're a woman and your husband is not financially capable at that point, and you, you want to, you know, handle it for a while until he does it. But I think there's an issue when it's for a longer period. Yeah. Obviously. Because it has sustainable. How sustainable I want to be, is it? That's I want to be pampered. I want to come mm -hmm. home and, you know, feel mm -hmm. pampered. I want my husband to get me stuff. So whenever I'm the one that has the pressure on my head for a long time, I think it's going to be a problem. That's why I'm yeah. saying that some men may get comfortable yeah. Yeah. knowing that their wife got everything. Yeah, she has to be the one with the money anyways. Ah, she, 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 she has a good job. She earns yeah. a lot of money. So why do I stress myself? So people just automatically would lean back and it would be telling a lot on the woman and she may not want to complain because she has already decided to take that responsibility for a long period and if she starts complaining to be that ah, you've changed though is this what you have become they will not remember all of the yeah, time she made sacrifices so price. do you think that a man who is not taking care of the family is still the head of the home see being, being the head of the home is like an anointing that was poured on the men mm. on the man's head it's mm -hmm. just a title yeah. god given title <laughs> a god-given title mm. it doesn't have to do with the finances and all of that you you know bringing the providing money and, and every other support is mm. just an addition to what god has bestowed on you as the head so what the is head. the main responsibility being the head even if, if it's not you know automatically tied to finance See, I, like i said it's not tied to finance mm. it is just there so what are, what, what, are duties? Duties? what are the duties? What are the duties? If it's just you yeah. have to care for your family, you mm -hmm. have to love them, you have to mm -hmm. provide for them. Mm -hmm. Why are you providing? providing what are you providing? No so okay, because you don't have a job, for example, mm. doesn't mean it make you less of a man. Mm. Maybe initially you were providing, mm. and something happened, like you said in that case, mm. that doesn't make you less of a man. Mm. It's when you now sit, like you said, and said and say, okay. You are not, we're not working, you're not putting effort towards making money. Mm. Then I'll never call you a man at that point. I'll mm. call that person a boy. Mm. Because a man <laughs> will not see? just sit. <laughs> a man no. will not sit and wait for the wife to continuously provide. He'll mm. be worried mm. because his pride, his ego will be bruised. bruised. Yeah. 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 So he will continuously want to do something, want to make sure his family is being taken care of. So that's what you will call a man. Okay. So, so now I've, I've talked about completely uh, out of cash mm. that broke men. Let's talk about men who don't earn as much as their wives do. Now, the man is working. Yeah. He's earning a salary or maybe he's running a business. But whatever is coming in every month is nothing compared to what the wife is making every month. Does that affect the relationship or the marriage in any way? It depends on the people involved. Because it the, always depends because, on the yeah, Because it's understanding. celebrities, as female Nigerian celebrities, a good number of them are of the opinion that they must marry men who are richer than them. But from what we see, from my perspective, they are rich. They have a lot of money. And if they want men who are richer than them, it's not like it's impossible. Though, but with all of the specifications they mention, and include that money is difficult to find, especially in, in that See, I don't think it's our, our celebrities then, so, should not be our so, priority for, so for I'm just, I'm just giving, I'm just giving them it, aside. I'm just giving it as an instance yeah. because those are the people that we can get to know about their private lives. We may not know what I stand for. I may not really know what you stand for. Yeah. So I'm just using them as an instance. So a woman who already has a lot of money and wants to marry a man who has a lot of money, but the men with a lot of money are not serious. They are not that committed. But they have average guys who can obviously take care of themselves and take care of you approaching them and they're saying no i don't want you because I'm, I'm still richer than you my net worth is still higher than your net worth is it is it supposed to be like that or faith i think everybody has like their priority list for entering a relationship okay so can you marry or be with a guy that you earn more than he's not broke oh, but you shall have more money than him faith you're driving is... a bentley and he's driving a my answer is y e 
S. Oh. Yes. So I can be, when I see that the man works hard mm. and he works smart, mm. he's not waiting for me to bring the salary at the end of the month. I know he's doing well at that position that he is in. And probably because of situation, he has not been able to move ahead of that. But I won't say, oh, because I'm earning so, so, so amount that he's earning, I'm supposed to, you know, um, relegate him to a particular Don't you angle. think I don't that think you're that going to be, be putting him under some kind of pressure? It, because he may be successful to an average, to, an, to a financially average lady. But to you, whom your money comes in like daily, maybe you're an influencer or something, yeah. and your money is coming in every day, and your money is getting longer, but he's a See, if, if it's going to be a problem to him, you should yeah. have thought about it before entering into the relationship. Should, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Is it easy to it. think about it just like that? I think it's, it's easy, because before you go into anything, you should think about it in the long run. What's the, the, the advantage? Maybe at the start of the relationship, where just you were a struggling vlogger, and you did not know that you were going to blow. I think it still boils down to understanding. Understand okay. yourself, set your priorities, yeah. have constant communication, and yeah. there'll be no problem. I, I don't honestly. think I should be blamed for him putting himself under unnecessary pressure, really. Because mm -hmm. in the relationship, I'll tell you, see, baby, I understand I'm any more than you, but I know things might not always be this way. So let... Let us do it. Okay, we're bringing in a particular percentage of our income to actually take care of ourselves. If he chooses to put himself under pressure and start thinking, ah, my baby is any more than me, oh. she's going to start disrespecting me. Is really, I can't blame myself for him being, in, um, you know, having inferiority <laughs> complex in that situation. How do you even so, know if she's any more than you? Because this is the day everybody is covering their salary. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, I don't think our celebrities are like the proper template to actually okay, so, measure how well your relationship Okay, you, you mentioned really. something. You just said, how would he know if yeah. you are earning more than him? Yeah. Now, if you're somebody who is very stylish as a lady and you like buying expensive stuff for yourself from your wristwatch to your perfume to your hair, is that not enough for him to know that you're, he's, you're, you're actually earning more money than him? Like you said, influencers, you might not know if they are the ones spending their own money to get those things. They're influencers maybe for the clothing line, mm. so they'll have to give them and they'll have sell the cars, the brands. flashy cars. You're paid now. You're then paid the house. I just saw one influencer buy a house in Canada. Yeah. How in about Canada. stuff like that? And, and, and maybe she just bought a house yeah. in Canada. Maybe she's dating a Lagos boy that is probably paying rent in Lekki. The exchange rate is different. <laughs> 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 it is it's really, really, I'm I'm you know, I want to, to ask you a dollars. question regarding what you said. So are you yeah. saying that um, you should not disclose your income to your partner? Because you no, said, no, no, I'm not how saying, would you know how much no, you're I'm not saying you shouldn't. That's part of the communication. If people are really friends and you are open to each other, you, mm. can, you can always disclose your income. But I'm saying, in relationship these days, most mm. people don't do that. Mm. They don't do that. Even most wives cannot even tell how much their husband earns. Mm. So that, that's why I made that statement. It's not All right, like we're it's wrapping okay. up. We're wrapping yeah. up soon. So let's just get your final thoughts on what makes a relationship ideal. What do you think makes a relationship ideal? Do you think love is enough? Love is not enough. Mm. Trust, communication, um, being friends, and go for what you want. Okay. That's it. Fantastic. <laughs> and then, uh, love is not enough. Even in your brother-sister relationship, you love your sister, but some days you hate your sister or your brother, and you feel like strangling the person. I don't think love is ever really enough, and I'll definitely agree with what you said. Whatever gives you peace of mind, whatever you know, okay, I can deal with, I can handle... Come what's made. This is what I've chosen to, you know, stick to as a relationship. So yeah, I think that's what really matters. Little, little of cash. Well, well <laughs> I, I, think, I think love is enough. You know why I say so? Because love, according to the Bible, covers a multitude of sin. And with love comes understanding. With love comes trust. With love comes every beautiful and every good thing. So the moment you say you love somebody, I'm not sure love is something you can say, keep love aside. If you love somebody, you wholeheartedly trust that person. You will make sacrifices for that person because with love comes sacrifice and all of that. So except maybe you're in the relationship for the wrong reasons i feel if you love someone of course you do everything within your power to ensure that the relationship works and that person is comfortable that's as much as we can take on the show today thank you so much for sticking with us on hot stuff wednesday we are back on monday for matters on ground my name is faith imai do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at tsl nigeria tv follow us on all social media platforms Instagram is trying itself, but our page will be back pretty soon. Have an amazing rest of the day. Toodles. Stay connected to TSL Nigeria and get updates on the go all day, every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel on TSL Nigeria Space TV and join our online family.